Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Rise and shine, you all. Rise and shine, Taurus. Uh, good morning, you all. Welcome back on N2 Sister of Conte South Tarot. This is Miss Sunny. And welcome on back to where you have therefore been put on notice and the requirement to love yourself mercilessly and don't look bad. You guys, we are going to be going ahead and doing the reading for you all. Let's see what's going on. You know, updating you all's energy. I invoke all angels of light, divine beings, heavenly hosts, and floors of divine works. On behalf of Taurus at this time, we would like to know what's going on, what is coming towards the way that they need to be aware of, and their energy. Well, I can already see Taurus, you're dusting a lot off. <laughs> it's at the bottom of the deck without even shuffling. Now, let's see what's get the main energy here. What's going on with Taurus Spirit? Let me move this. Just a little tad bit, actually. Go ahead and get that. Okay, what's going on, Spirit? Tours. Main energy. Right, good. What's going on? You're very direct in your approach and your message. Tours. Okay, what's this? Oh, Lord. <laughs> got somebody showing up here that's got a bad reputation. That's thinking about you. They got their, they've got their eye on you. They're also strategizing here, um, contemplating on how to get back in your energy. Yeah, somebody that had you in the love triangle here, romantic love affair. This person cheated on you or left you for a third party here. But also, um, that you're this person's fix. They can't get enough of you. Yeah, we also have the memories card in the reverse. Reminiscing, dwelling. What did I say? They can't stop dwelling on you. Thinking about how bittersweet everything is with you. Reminiscing, but also with this showing up in the reverse. Um, this card also speaks to pathways and directions. Um, this person is regretting choosing the wrong person here. Leaving you for this third party. They're regretting um, being at a crossroads with you. I'm also getting two of wands energy from this card. Uh, and they're ready to leave this third party. Yeah, also I'm getting here at the bottom of the deck we have girl fight arguments. Um competing. This third party is jealous of you. Also, I'm getting this this woman that they're dealing with here. You're picking up on the divine masculine energy. Um, is very jealous of you. They want to be you. Um, and this is a very, very dark person, evil person, um, who is a shapeshifter. Um, this polka dot dress uh, speaks to me about shape-shifting. This person also identity swapping. Um, this person wants to be you. And they're ready to fight. Because now this Divine Master is ready to come back your way. They probably actually could have told them, look, I'm done with you. I want tours. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm saying. Give me more. Yeah, they told the third party, I'm in love with tours. <laughs> That's exactly what's going on here. Yeah, because see, this is all their energy showing up. You're not even in here, Taurus. This is this third party. Pissed. And um, your divine masculine is embarrassed. You know, they, they feel like this third party brought them to shame. They, they feel like they're the reason why they fallen from grace here. Because this person is not who they said they were. Um, and definitely not the promises they made. <laughs> they definitely couldn't live by them. It's like when they got them, that's when they showed their true colors. Main energy. What's this? In their head. You're not, yeah, they're not in their head ain't about it anymore. Overthinking and stressing, overanalyzing. They're tired of this person. See, this person was playing a manipulation game. This third party. Yep, and here they are deep, like I said, sending a deep regret wanting to come back to your way. This person regrets that they were claw hungry 
And also, what it really is about is this uh, third party was clown hungry. They say anything, do anything, and make everything else up. <laughs> they're very dramatic, and they're really uh, showing up here as the mice. They, they'll take anything they can get. They'll eat anything they can eat. They don't care who pays the price for it, as long as it's not them. Look at their, they're an imposter. Fake smiles, it was all a game. Uh, now, yeah, there it is, love triangle. What did I say, y'all? They put this person in a love triangle as a third party. Multiple lovers' choices. Yeah. And they told them they were a fool for loving you. Yeah, what are they talking about thinking about love? Love is nothing. This, this is the person that talked this person's ego up. They knew they, they, they knew uh, that your divine master here had an issue with ego and pride. And that is the real inside scoop here. And they dug all in your business, also even in your money. They were asking about this divine master and about what you could do for them. They started looking you up online. I mean, what the heck? This person is a stalker, this third party. Wanted to be you so bad. Talk to me about bad reputation. <clears throat> I just want to be you so bad. What is going on here? <laughs> bad reputation. And they're doing everything they can to stop this divine masculine. That's what they've been doing. They they knew the whole time this divine masculine loved you. And they were never planning on staying. They knew when they got the divine master to make this dumb move that it was going to be short lived. <clears throat> yeah, they were on an affair of objection here. They were an objectable fate, an affair. Um, it was all about a shiny new thing or some false promises. Yeah. What's after that card? Yeah, to make you jealous. <laughs> That's what it was. What did I say, y'all? And it was about status. About money. Some type of deal that they promised them. That fell through as soon as they left. <laughs> mm -hmm. Didn't work. Bad reputation. Yeah, well, see, first of all, you got same shit, different days showing up. So they let me know this was, one, this was an ex. This is somebody, this person I already knew. This person you are used to, and they already knew what this person was about. This third party has multiple lovers, multiple options. 747, I saw on the clock, looked it up for prophetic meaning. Um, This person is somebody, this uh, divine master I already knew from the past. Talking to me about romantic love affair. Promising them something. <laughs> wow, what did I say? They found out this third party was an imposter, an impersonator, an imposter. They, and what really made this third, um, excuse me, your divine masculine sick here was the fact 818 just showed up on the clock. Please look it up for prophetic meaning. Um, is when they really caught on to the fact that this person was jealous of you and they couldn't keep your name out their mouth. That was a major turn off to this divine masculine. They knew that they, when they really figured out and caught on to the fact that they wanted to be just like you, dress like you, act like you, be you. That's when they really saw what this person was really about. And that's the game changer. They cause they knew everything that this person was about because they've been with this person before, right? Which was another reason, which is why I'm saying insecurities. Um, and this person feeling like you're divine masculine, feeling like you were better than them because that's the only reason why they went back to this person. And, um, excuse me, because they were of low value. Uh, that's first of all. Second thing here is, um, they knew that you would never accept uh, their addictions. And you see, you find out about things this person really wanted to do and it was about, because they were still exercising their dark side, their shadow side. Um, they felt like they weren't ready for change. So that was another major reason why this person made this dumb move. But it back, it all backfired here. Because that's when they caught on to, oh, they're trying to dress just like tours. They're trying to act just like tours. And they wanted um, your divine masculine's money. And they were trying to use your money behind the scenes through this divine masculine. Yeah. That's why you ran far away from them. 
Surely did. Talk to me about um, in their head and the reverse. Inside. And that is the inside scoop. And right now, they're trying to look you up, trying to get info on you. A lot of you have uh, done the disappearing acts. They're also trying to lie on your name like you're fake flexing, like you're broke, like you're nothing. But really, it's them. Um, this divine master, that's another thing wrong with this divine master. They're immature and they like to do a lot of fake flexing. You know, and like they got money and they got, you know, their show off. You know, and they're ready to come in. Um, and also I'm getting, they took an offer, same thing. This person, your divine master and the third party are in the same weak energy. And that's what, it's the same thing. They're the same type of person. They're both groupies. They both, they both give people dirty offers, and they both fake uh, flex. And they're both jealous because you're, you're a boss out here. Your you're, you're divine master was jealous of you. And they married you for your money, or they got in a relationship with you for your money. That's how it began. But this person actually ended up falling in love with you. and and uh, But they have to keep up. Also, I'm getting your person is very huge on image. So they have to keep up this narrative they have been lying and spitting on you. For so long. Here. <laughs> There's nothing I'm saying. They lied on you. Talked about you. Like a doggone dog. Yeah. Wasted your time. And then on top of that. They were very controlling. Aggressive with you. They changed. Switched up the whole game. Tried to force you into their narrative. You know. And tried to force you to give them. What they wanted at all times. No matter whether you had it or not. Yeah, and like I said, they're stalking you. They're obsessive. So a lot of you already know they ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Same, same thing every day. But the thing about it is, is this major realization here with your person, they don't like this third party. They don't, like I say, they've already been with this person. They know what they're about. This is their ex, I'm getting. Um, and they already knew what this person was about when they first went back. But the major thing here, like I said, this was about work, self-worth. And this person's uh, ego and pride and un unhealed pain from the past. Okay, Spirit, let's see what else is going on. What's going on behind the scenes? Actually, this is what I want to do. Well, no, this is what I'm going to do. What's going on behind the scenes, Spirit? Be very direct to your message and your approach. Yeah, this person's been creating all, look at all these rocks. All these obstacles in the way. This third party's been placing so many obstacles. And not only this third party, look at all these different people that have been trying to cause a blockage in this divine connection. Thank you, Spirit. Friends, family, foes, you name it. Because everybody knew this was a divine connection, that you are actually this person's divine counterpart. And they all know that this divine masculine is deeply madly in love with you. So <laughs> they'll never, no one compares to you, Taurus. And anybody deeply affected by this message. That's just the truth. I don't care what this person is doing or what they're trying to personify and try to do their little smooth walk, smooth Michael Jackson walk off into the sunset. It all didn't work because they're still glued, stuck like glue to you. <laughs> and what's next? I <laughs> mean, what about it? Cross watch. <laughs> Jackpot Bad habits in the reverse <laughs> What'd I say y'all When this person got with you You are the jackpot <laughs> And this person is ready to let all these addictions go They're tired of living this life See that's the thing This person thought that they were going to miss their old version of themselves They thought they weren't going to be able to let their uh, addictions go Which is why this person was always on in the crossroads um, cause they were having an issue with letting go, the, letting the old version of them shed and die. And that was the real problem here. Their addiction with drugs, sex, um, uh, money, superficiality, all that kind of stuff. This person didn't want to let that go at the time. But they're, they're, I mean, they're sitting in major regret now. I bet they wish they had, would have now. And then, they're mad at themselves for the way they treated you. And showed up in this relationship. And they had absolutely no reason to. They know you love them more than anything. And they decided to show up like this. In this relationship. 
Because they were unhealed. But this third party is big man. They told them, look, gotta go. See you later. You and the pastor, you're not yours. You are definitely not yours. Yeah, see, they were trying to act like they didn't miss you. And they were trying to act like we got our face showing up here. Trying to act like, you know, you didn't mean nothing to them. They only wanted you for your money. That may have very well been true in the beginning stages of knowing this person. But all that changed. It been changed a long time ago. I'm getting for a lot of you with this person for years. Especially if you were married with the, married to this person. Or committed relationship, what I'm saying. This part, that is not the case. And also... This third party and their family, the toxic family. Yeah. Claw hungry. What'd I say, y'all? Um, tried to get this person to see this, to make you out to be a liar, basically. They tried to make you out to be some horrible, wicked person when it was them the whole time. And also, this third party was the one that was claw hungry. This third party was the one that was, this works, participates in black magic. And was casting some little spells and, and, and communication spells and getting this person to treat you like you meant nothing to them. They were the ones, not you. Bottom of the dick of a while. Caught a case. And they probably caught something from Mofo. Let me see. A ego. Yeah, and well, what you know, the case that, that, that they caught, they, they caught a, a major case of ego here. <laughs> they let their ego lead them astray and try to get in a competition with you. Wanting to win at all costs for nothing. Because you've been nothing but nice to this person and love this person. And and they went over here to somebody that was fake, an imposter. Somebody that was actually only trying to, they got, what, what's sick about this to me? Is this person, this third party, has been jealous of you. A hater on the sidelines. You don't even know this person. But they've been hating on you for years, looks like, apparently. And they got through, they went through this divine masculine not even wanting them. What they really were wanting was to get under your skin and to steal your identity. This is some type of sicko. Secretly wanting to kiss your ass because they're jealous of you. This third party, this is some type of weirdo sicko. Going on here. Confirm these cards, please. <clears throat> right now, yeah, you are this person's security. Their higher level of commitment. <laughs> please. And also, the higher level of commitment card speaks to marriage. Just confirming what I said. Why well, is Jackpot here? Be very direct in your message and uh, approach. Yeah, they're in fear. Oh, well, no, what the whole thing of it is, is the third party's been trying, like I said, it's just confirming everything I said already in the spirit realm. They've been doing everything they could. To try to convince them, your divine masculine, that they're the one that's best for them. They're the one. Don't and, and they've been trying to do everything to create those roadblocks. Like I said, when you saw those rocks come up on the screen, um, to stop them from coming back to reconcile with you. To do right by you. They've been doing everything to draw a wedge. Yeah, trying to get them to see there's no unfinished business between you and Taurus. Taurus is nothing. They're, they're the ones full of ego. They're the ones full of pride and... This is not, if you weren't fated to meet Taurus. Taurus is nothing and all that. And the whole time you're ascending. You're the only one that is ascending. And you help this person to ascend. And so like I said, this person's been trying to reach out to you. And you got this person blocked. They've been trying to message you. And uh, all of that. But also, this third party has been stopping them too. They've been stalking them. Watching them like a hawk trying to see if they, if they send Taurus the message. Let me watch. They're checking their phone at night when they're asleep. All that kind of stuff, y'all. Because they're up at night anyway doing their black magic. Cast the spell so this person won't come back your way. Mmm. Mmm, y'all. Talk to me about bad habits in reverse. Bad habits in the reverse. What I say, y'all, you have influences in the reverse. This person is toxic as hell, this third party. And like I said, this divine masculine, it told this person, I don't want you. 
This third party influence in the reverse. Bad habits in the reverse. This divine masculine is tired of living this lifestyle. They, this is what they showed them. And maybe this divine masculine needed this to happen so they could wake up to the call on their life. That's what I'm saying. This divine masculine is saying that this is not the life they were supposed to have, which is what you have been trying to show them. Yeah, what I say? Inner growth. This person needed this time, apparently, because this is what you've been preaching to them or trying to help them to see the whole time you've been with them. That they were called higher. That they had a destiny inside them that was waiting to come out. And this person is seeing this. They're seeing not only is this third party toxic and unhealthy for their life moving forward, but also their family and their toxic friends too. That's the battery, y'all. Talking about unfazed. Keep the tabs. Yeah. See, this person's been secretly keeping tabs on you. Your divine masculine. They have to be very careful. Yeah, they're using their intuition here. You know, and they know you're single. They know you're not seeing anybody. But this person has been in a lot of agonizing pain over this breakup. You know, um, and they're ready to relinquish these fears. See, they've been they're not afraid of this third party anymore. I'm getting they were also afraid of what this third party knew about them and their secrets getting out. But that's not even going to stop them anymore, right? Because this third party has receipts on them and things that they feel like would uh, jeopardize their reputation with you. That's why we also saw bad reputation. But this this divine medicine is not going to let that hold them back anymore from this third, with this third party. I just saw that. Um, because they were thinking um, that was holding them back from uh, trying to seek reconciliation with you with separation card in reverse. But they're not, they're ready to lay it all out on the line. Because, because this divine masculine is in love with you, they always will be. Talk to me about marrying for money. Yeah, they don't want to breadcrumb you anymore. See, whereas this person was breadcrumbing you in the past, um, it kept trying to trigger you and, and cause a lot of resentments to show up in the relationship, um, this person is not wanting to do that anymore. They're, 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 they're tired of being heartbroken over continuously breaking your heart. They don't want to do that anymore. They don't want to pretend like they don't miss you. Because you are their happiness. You are definitely this person's happiness. And they want to reverse this heartbreak. Yeah. And this is what this person inwardly is receiving here. Yeah. They're tired of lying to themselves. True card in the reverse. Talking about clown hungry. They told the third party, game over. <laughs> you ain't getting nothing else out of me. Stop playing. <laughs> Ooh, this third party is clown over there. Are mice. There are little mice running around your house. Dropping turds. <laughs> Eating up all your food. Whatever ain't laying down. The little cheese eater. Cheese eater, pumpkin eater. <laughs> Stop playing. <laughs> Black obstacles. What I say? This is exactly what I think. Then we see it the spirit showed it. This person's been causing a lot of obstacles and this person coming back your way. Yeah, so they can... Uh, look at this. The marriage court, sacred union in reverse. It's all there, y'all. So they, they know this person... Your union with this person is sacred. And everybody wanted to break it, break this bond. That's what this was all about. Some dark magic, some... um Yeah, and it's caused a lot of agonizing pain for this person, this breakup with you. That's the real secret. This person's been sitting in agonizing pain since they left you. Yeah. That's at the bottom of the deck. Agonizing pain. This person is hurting because they don't have you. They're really upset with themselves because they let their pride lead the way. You know? And that's because they chose pride over healing. This person was supposed to be healing themselves. Yeah, this person is coming your way, y'all. Yeah, this person's been going through it's a lot of turmoil. Very unstable energy uh, dealing with this third party. And they've been deeply affected. Um, and I'm seeing more pain has been built since dealing with this person. All they did was really draw up triggers and draw up the pain of their past. Um, I'm also getting, they drew up their um, childhood wounds. 
you know, this person reminds them. Yeah, and they were a deceiver, a liar, a trickster, a Decepticon, promising them a promise a new beginning, and it was all a lie. They were never loyal. They weren't loyal like you, and they were trying to get them to see, yeah, loyalty card in reverse. They were, they were the one feeding them these lies, telling them that you weren't loyal, divine feminine, and you were the one only person in this whole scenario that had depth and value and integrity. And like, when I say y'all, they're ready to come take their mask off. <laughs> Yeah, they're strategizing right now how they can come and, and make tell you the truth and hoping that you'll listen to them. Yeah, there you are. You are their everything, my guys. This is the decision this person made. They don't want anybody, anything but you. That's you, Taurus, this beauty card. Yeah, they don't want to live in the car. Oh, look at this, y'all. It's all here. The fantasy card in the reverse. They don't want to live in a fantasy world anymore. That's at the center of the reading. They were giving you mixed signals. They regret it. They blocked their emotions from you. They were deeply regret it. They were showing up messed up, chaotic, aggressive, controlling in this relationship. And they regret it. Because now they can't escape the rejection of you. And they can't escape the sorrow of not having you in their life right now. It's just terrible. Yeah, they can't escape the heartbreak. And they can't stop longing for you. Look at this. Because they didn't use their intuition. Talk to me about a karmic relationship. In the reverse. Yeah. They're done with this relationship. They're done with this person. Karmic relationship in the reverse. <laughs> They're ending this karmic wheel with this person. I just, the world card. I just saw the world card in the, in the spirit. They're ending it. For good. With this person. So whereas this person was able to. Get. Like, say you, this person would leave you and, and come back because, you know, and they would go be with this person. They don't want this person as some third party wheel anymore. They want to be with you and only you. What I'm saying. And if they had multiple lovers on the side, they need it. But I'm getting it's really this third party. This is an ex. That they hadn't got out, got out of their system, y'all. That's what this is. They weren't, yeah. Yeah, what did I say? They were afraid that their sequels would come out. Yeah, but they had this person. That's what they were worried about. That's what's been stopping them from coming your way. But this person has had a major realization that they're, they're done letting this third party. What did I say, y'all? Third party influences in the reverse. That they need to let this go. Well, that's what I'm, what I'm telling y'all. And it's only you. I just said it. They only want you. They, they don't want to be, they don't want to lose you for good. Divine Master in the reverse. They don't want that. Because that will break their heart forever. It will sever their heart forever. Yeah. Talk to me about this cloud hungry energy. Wow. what I say, y'all? And that's the story. This person is ready to release this. Everything, their addictions, their drug use, their uh, uh, sex obsession, all their addictions, they're ready to release it and let it all go for this for this union with you. This person knows they have to let all that go. They have to let this third party go, third party influences, toxic family, toxic friends, addictions, all of it. If they want it, that's, you told this person, you're going to only be with me or nothing at all. This person knows that. You're not playing this time. You're not playing games with this person. And they know this person is willing to do that. Now, this person, and you also have the mask card in the reverse. This person is ready to take their mask down and, and bear it all to you. They don't want to keep you in this conflicted, if conflicted energy anymore. They're not conflicted over you. Yeah. This person, wow. You have this mask card in the reverse again. This person knows that that's what they need to do. They, get, they need to get their head clear and take this mask off. Or else they're going to lose you for good. Commitment in the reverse. Yeah. Unless they're, unless they're willing to lose their foundation for good. You are their foundation. Their happiness. They're tired of living in confusion. That's it, y'all. So, expect this person to come your way. They're strategizing right now to get back in your energy, you guys. And they've let this, they told this third party, look, I got to go. <laughs> I can't lie to you no more. I can't live this lie no more. I don't want you. I don't I don't want you at all. 
You know, you never were anything good to me at all. And and now, especially with this person saying they tried to take your identity, you're down with this person, y'all. And they're coming your way, so I expect communication somehow, some way. Okay, guys, I love you all so much. I'm going to let you guys go. I'll see you all soon on the next reading. Remember to choose this hour to love yourself mercilessly and don't look back. Um, I love you all. Love and limited to you all. Have a beautiful and amazing day. A major abundance and blessings to you all on your magnificent journey. Love Unlimited, and I'll see you all in the next reading.